yes, the raw Cornish game hens and the rice pudding. Am I good or what? No, 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 no. No eating anything before dinner. We're starving here. Dinner will be ready in a flash. It's almost 9 o'clock. Which is the proper time for a proper dinner. But I'm starving. Everything is going to be so good. You look great. I look okay. You know, I can't think of a better way to celebrate you and your dad being together with us for six months. No. Isn't this better than going to some ordinary restaurant? Louis? What? It's going to be so good. <laughs> hey, Louis! What? Happy anniversary, darling. <laughs> you gonna wear that tie? Yeah. No eating anything before dinner. I, I'm starved. I'm... Well, everything's almost ready. Hmm. You know who you dress like, like, uh, what's his name? What do you call it? David Addison on Moonlight. Right. <laughs> you know that clothes, they are the outward expression of the inner self? Yeah? Your inner self got paisley suspenders? <laughs> There's an aspect of my personality which is definitely paisley. Yeah? I'll tell you another aspect of your personality. Right. Those are my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. How much longer, huh? Please put this on the table and get out of my kitchen. Oh, this is terrific. <laughs> you know, this is the first time you've ever cooked us a five-star meal. <laughs> it's going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> now, scoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Honey, oh, honey, there was something I wanted to mention to you. What? I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Please help me with everybody. I mean, it's real important. I don't want anybody spoiling their appetite by eating anything before dinner. I've been working here since noon. You know what I mean? Yeah, no problem. It looks great, huh? Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 no
Uh, we're starting a tradition here tonight. They've been with us six months, and Kelly's making hens. That's our tradition every six months, Kelly makes hens? You know, what, what do you call them? I need more. Uh, <laughs> uh, rocks is in it. She's making hens with rocks in them? No. Nope. Rock Cornish game hens. Right, right, and she stuffed them with grapes and wild rice and, and everything. Oh, right. What are they? You know, midget chickens. <laughs> What's wrong with regular sized chickens? These are a delicacy. I mean, small portions. But you get a whole chicken. But it's a damn midget. Watch your mouth. Dad, you don't understand. I'm starving. It's... You're starving. Believe me, I understand. And we're going to eat in a couple of seconds. You'll be at Suzanne's house in plenty of time. Well, time is such a relative thing, hon. You know, uh, ten minutes seems like such a short time, but to a moth, it's a whole summer vacation. I hope everybody's gonna like it. Yeah, well, I don't think you can miss, honey. What's the first course? Salad. Great. I'll put it on the table. Well, it'll get warm. We're supposed to eat it with the rest of the meal. Oh, how come? European style. Oh. <laughs> Gee, what a great idea. <laughs> so you just, uh, you just go right ahead there. You're doing a great job. What are you looking for? Hairspray. <laughs> hairspray? Yeah, yeah, I caught a glimpse of myself in the window here and I saw my hair and got all funny. <laughs> and this is an occasion and I thought, hey, I gotta fix my hair. <laughs> Hey, I know what you're gonna say. I never use hairspray. We never keep hairspray in the house. I know it's crazy, but it was a reflex. I felt like using hairspray, and I opened the first cabinet that was there. I know. I know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, I know where it came from, the idea of using hairspray. I know exactly where it came from. It's because of my grandmother, your great-grandmother. Have I ever told you how fastidious she was about her appearance? No. I can't believe I never told you this. No matter where she was, she always managed to keep a can of hairspray in the kitchen. Which is, I guess, why it's always been a reflex for me. They didn't have hairspray back then. I can't believe she'd lie to me about a thing like that. <laughs> well, but I guess she must have, huh? But hey, you know, our country was so tough way back then, you had to lie just to exist. That's gotta be about ten minutes, huh, hon? <laughs> is this damn thing broken here? Ben, it's right on time. Oh. Well, you're... <laughs> You're just doing great, honey. Yeah, you're, you're just great. You're great. How much longer? Five minutes. Tops. Yeah, what are we gonna do until then? Tough it out. As one friend to another, I got asked your question. Not a thing. She caught me. <laughs> Kelly still have that goldfish? It's buried in the yard. You wouldn't happen to remember where, would you? Oh, oh dinner. Oh. No, that's that's the door. Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Kim, and I represent the Greater Philadelphia Youth Employment Council. Uh, didn't we get them two weeks ago? I, I think we did. <sighs> we are not asking for donations. See, we're selling these 100% chocolate nut or nut raisin bars if you like those better. How much? Okay, well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. 
Hey, buy me those of mine. Well, you're not going to eat any now, are you? <laughs> Give me my. Oh, you're not going to eat one now, are you? <laughs> you about that. you got to be kidding. I don't know, but I got to eat. I don't know, but I have to eat now. Guys, you guys, it's, it's 9 o'clock, straight up and down, okay? Because I can't be late over Suzanne. Mm. Just a, few, uh, a couple of more minutes, guys, all right? It's gonna be delicious. A four mica would be delicious. It's gonna be an elegant meal. Jack, yeah, rock well. Cornish game hymns! <laughs> We've already been through this. Oh, no, man, I'm talking elegant, like a fine restaurant. Yeah. Have you been to La Brochette? Uh, no. You know who went there's parents? <laughs> what? You know who went there's parents? How old are you? Sixteen. That's a sentence, you know, who went there's parents? <laughs> I was gonna say it right, but I forgot how. Malnutrition. Oh, stay down! Here we go. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. right. I think they were supposed to be darker. Oh, that's the color I like them. <laughs> You know, they didn't look like this at all in the picture. Let's eat them and worry about how they look later. Honey, they look sort of raw. Rock Cornish game sushi. <laughs> and the grapes are cold. Oh, oh for crying out loud. All right, wait. You did cook it for one hour at 350. No, no, no. I cooked them for three hours and 50 minutes at 100. Oh. <laughs> Instead of cooking them, she sent them to a spa. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I screwed up. But it's not like I burned them. I'll put them back in the oven, and I'll turn it up to 350, and they'll be done in no time. Well, it's gonna take an hour. But they were in the oven for almost four hours! <laughs> Doesn't that mean something? It means they could live comfortably in Miami. Crying out loud. That's gonna take too long. And I gotta be over at Suzanne's by 10. And I am getting a little bit hungry. Wait a minute. We'll start on the rest of the stuff and eat the hens for dessert. Hey, oh. That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, exactly. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I'll tell you what's reasonable. What's reasonable is we're gonna eat this food properly. And in the manner in which my daughter designed it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and what are we gonna do until then? Until then? We're going to enjoy ourselves, whether we like it or not! Five minutes! <laughs> Thirteen minutes to ten. What are you going to do about Suzanne? She's coming over here instead. I called her. Oh. I've been starving so long, this suit is starting to fit me. <laughs> you know what this is? This is an exercise in, in what do you call it? By the time the food is ready, I'll be so hungry, I won't even have an appetite. This is purely an exercise in what do you call it? Oh, let me have an olive. No! Oh, come on, no. run! Uh -uh. Just run! No! Steal your own food. <laughs> you know the story about the scientist that captured the man in white? No. He stripped them naked and put them in two plexiglass cages right next to each other. There was this little slot in the plexiglass between the cages. And then he starved them. He didn't give them anything to eat for two days, then three days, four days, five days. They were starving, finally. After 17 days, he opens up the man's cage, throws in a slice of bread, and locks it again. Yeah? See, he's a scientist, and he wants to see if the man loves his wife enough to split the bread and stick half of it through the slot. So what does the guy do? He gives her half. So let me have one. In 16 more days! Half of starving! Futility. That's what this is an exercise in. <laughs> oh, the waste Would you run that by me again? It's so obvious, I can't understand why you refuse to see it. Then just, just say it again. If it weren't for ties, there would be no civilization. That's what I thought you said. Think about it. What is a tie? You tell me. Well, a tie today or a tie in the 18th century? A tie today. Well, to understand ties today, we first have to understand ties in the 18th century. Can I have a candy bar? <laughs> Just stop it. You know, you're letting your stomach rule your, uh... 
heart? It's close enough. <laughs> Where was I? In the 18th century, you were wearing a tie. What time is it? Uh, it's getting close. Look, how close? Look, for one second, just keep your mind off of your... Mind? Where was I? You were wearing a tie. Why was I doing that? Why were you doing what? Let's just split it. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, shut up. I'm trying to make a point well, here. Well, go ahead, then. Okay. In the 18th century, they had no buttons for their shirt collars. <gasps> oh, yes, they did, too. <laughs> right in the 16th century, did they have buttons then? I don't know. Well, they didn't. Okay? It's okay with me. Okay! <laughs> Where was I? Look, the one small bite of one small candy hey. bar is not good end the world! I'm trying to make a point! Well, then shut up about it! Suzanne, come in, please. Um, Alan called and told me to come over here to watch because he was going to be late. Ah, so your uh, parents are going to be on the candy bar tonight. Um, I beg your pardon? Your parents, your mother, your father. Yes. Well, they're going to be on the candy bar discussing sex education, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Right. Ah. <laughs> Ellen! Suzanne's here! So, how have you been? Better. <laughs> and you, how have you been? Fine. Huh. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice tie. Ah, you see what I've been trying to tell you? I give up what? About ties. She knows about ties. If it weren't for ties, there would be no... Prom? Ah! <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're thinking bow ties. I'm talking non-bow ties. Oh. I really don't know. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? You're giving up too soon, all right? If there weren't no ties, there'd be no what? No what? Civilization. Civilization. He whispered it to you, didn't he? <laughs> I'm asking you a question, didn't he? He might help. Oh, Alan, your little friend's here. Oh, I'm so what do you want from me? You're not on the couch! What do you mean, not you, on you the couch? You don't sit on the couch before dinner. You never sit on the couch. But since when? You'll ruin everything. Sit on the coffee table and you'll... It's good for your eyes. She upset. If you're so nosy, why don't you ask him? Dad? What? I'm tired of freaking aspirin. They're upstairs. I wasn't talking to you. Well, excuse me. Not in this life. Five minutes. Wait a second. Hasn't she been doing that a lot? Doing what? Saying five minutes every five minutes. Yeah, yeah she has. You got a problem with that? Yes, I do. My problem is that I was looking forward to this so much, I didn't have any lunch. What didn't you have for lunch? Everything. Thank God. Oh. Dinner. It's the door. Dinner. The door. <laughs> Oh, it's the penman. That's perfect. Is this a bad time? Yeah, this is a bad time, please. Well, this will only take a minute. Don't try sitting on the couch. Alan, I am trying to listen. Would you knock it off? No, oh, please. We'll only take a minute. Can we eat? Uh, watch your manners. Can we eat, please? <laughs> no. Oh, we're interrupting their dinner. We're interrupting their dinner. You're both right. <laughs> This will only take a minute. No, but we're interrupting their dinner. It will only take a minute, Phil. We'll ask you as fast as we can. Shall I ask them? No, you ask them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Vicky. So somebody ask us something here. <laughs> it is a bad time. What do they want? That's what we're trying to find out. This will only take a minute. <sighs> well, you wanted me to ask them? Huh? 
Yes, she wants you to ask them, honey. Well, here's the thing, to be perfectly honest, I'm not very comfortable asking you. Well, let me ask them and we can get this thing over with. I'm warning you, we can't take this much longer. I think we've come at a bad time. Yes, mm, and besides, I'd feel much more comfortable asking the Schroeders. So what else? But they're not home. So I guess we have to ask these people. Phil, Vicky, I have to tell you something. Your dog, Wanda, needs you. Go to her. Huh? Well, she has been spitting up lately. Go to her. Now, go. Go, 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 go. go. High seas as MacGyver and a pretty ocean researcher battle modern day pirates. Then John Ritter was looking for the girl of his dreams. Connie Selico was about to marry Mr. Wrong. A chance meeting, and they were off to Mexico for the Last Fling. A romantic comedy on the ABC Monday Night Movie. Now stay tuned for Starman, next. <laughs>